Hey everybody, this is Dr. Rumsey, and this is just a quick video to introduce you to our class webpage uh, for the semester. Some of you have taken many online classes, some of you have never taken any online classes. For the vast majority of you, this is your first time using Brightspace. Uh, for those of you who have been students for a while, recall that um, our learning management system, our LMS, has been Blackboard for as long as I've been an at uh, Purdue Fort Wayne, so almost 15 years. And recently we have changed to something called uh, Desire to Learn, D2L uh, Brightspace. And um, it's been a fairly steep learning curve at my end, but I think that I have uh, done a pretty good job of setting up the course so that it's intuitive, that you can find things easily, and that sort of thing. But I wanted to create a video to explain how I set up the course, how to get into the course, and things like that. Uh, especially because some of you have never done this before. So you'll notice here on the screen I am at purdue.brightspace.com and then it does this whole D2L login, which whatever. So you just type in purdue.brightspace.com. It'll take you to this page. You'll see many smiling faces up here of people that we don't know and likely have never been to Purdue. Um, and then you'll click on Purdue Fort Wayne. Obviously that is our university. Okay, and it'll take you to the same login authentication service that if you typed in uh, go.pfw.edu, it takes you to the same one. So I am Rumsey S. And then, like many of you, my password is a bunch of dots. Okay. So then it logs us in here. Um, your screen should look very similar to mine. Um, I don't know if it's exact because I, I am not a student, um, but you'll notice that there's a couple different options here. You're gonna obviously wanna be in fall. Um, I did teach one class on here over the summer to get used to how to use the software and use the programming. Um, and these are my three classes for fall and you'll notice that each one has a different uh, background that I found to be not terribly odious. Um, and then for the sake of um, those of you who are brand new, my freshmen, we're going to go ahead and introduce you to uh, my introduction to English major class. But for all three sections, you can, um, I set them up exactly the same way. So your section should look remarkably similar. So if we click on this and go inside, you will find our Brightspace page. Um, I have done my best to set this up uh, intuitively, like I said. Um, I work really hard to think about what my students actually need to see and, and, and do to be able to use this effectively. I've been part of some really bad online classes where things are not organized and you have to hunt for things and that is not how my brain thinks and not how people learn best, so that's not what I do. So obviously we've got the title here at the top. Um, we have a welcome message that says, uh, welcome, right? Um, and then there's this notice here of our first synchronous meeting. Um, and for some of you, it's a different time than this, but it, each of your pages will have this. None of our meetings are on Monday the 24th, which is when you will have access to Brightspace. So you'll have time to come in and, and, and fool around in here a little bit to figure some stuff out. Now, things that I have added. Um, I have added something called the Content Browser. This enables you to quickly go to certain things. Um, it is not the best tool, if I'm honest, to find the content that you need, but it does get you to certain things quickly if you need to. The other thing here on the home page is the um, visual table of contents. This should take you to the actual folders um, of each thing. Now you'll notice here that I have set things up um, in weekly folders. I start off with the getting started folder, important course documents, and peer workshops. That's pretty much standard across the board in any class I teach. And then each week that we meet, so for the entire 16 weeks of the semester, it has its own weekly folder. And the reason I do that is that your calendar that is part of your syllabus um, always is in a weekly format. It tells you what is due on given dates according to the week it is. And so then I organize the content into those. So that's really all well and good, but to be honest, all of those things don't really get you to the content that you need very quickly. So there are, up here, you're gonna notice these tabs along the top. Um, I obviously, I'm gonna have more of them in you, like you don't have course admin, for example, right? Because you're not the admin. Um, but the best tab ever is content, okay? This one right here is my favorite. I would put giant puffy hearts around it. In fact, if there was a way to take this button and put it down here, that's what I would do because I use it almost exclusively, okay? So you're gonna use this one and then probably grades the most. So if you click on content, what you're gonna go to 
is much more of what you were used to if you used to do Blackboard, which is to say that you have all of your folders along here on the side, the, the table of contents along the side, and then the contents of your uh, of the week are here in this main area over here. So the problem with, we go back to Course Home, the problem with Content Browser um, is if I click on week one, it gives you a list of things, but it doesn't take you to that actual page. And occasionally there's stuff that won't line up. It won't actually be there, right? So I don't love it. You might find it useful, which is why I included it. But really, content page is the best page. Um, now for you guys, it might look a little different. Like obviously I can add stuff in here and, and make changes. So yours isn't going to have some of this gobbledygook because I can look, I can upload and create a new class. Well, you can't, sorry. You can become a teacher and do that someday if you want. Um, so you'll notice here basics of the first week. Um, all of you are going to find that there's the first synchronous meeting because I'm going to try and meet with you guys uh, on WebEx. The first day of what would have been our class had we kept our face-to-face our, uh, -face section. Um, then there's going to be the syllabus and calendar. There's going to be, uh, here I actually separated the calendar out as a separate document. And then there's going to be discussion board and so on and so forth. Okay, now over here you're going to notice uh, you could click on table of contents and get the same thing. There is the folder called getting started. Now in the getting started folder are things that, like the name suggests, are going to help you get started. Um, here you're going to find the syllabus and calendar again. You're going to find uh, a blurb all about me. Um, you're going to find some stuff about academic support services, disability services, IT, and help with Brightspace, that sort of thing. Um, there could be, I'm probably going to put this video in the Getting Started folder as well as in an announcement on the home page. But this is where, like, the very first day it's helpful if you just start here. Okay. Um, the other one to keep in mind is important course documents. So far, there's not a huge amount in here. Again, the calendar's there. I put it in three places so you absolutely cannot miss it, right? Um, you're going to all be doing peer workshops in my classes, um, and so the instructions for them live here in case you forget. I typically remember to post those along with the discussion board posts later in the semester, like alongside it, but if not, they're always here. And then in this class, at least, we're going to be using MLA, um, and so I put the formatting here as well. So I think that should do it for you guys. Um, what you're going to find, I'm not going to click on grades because it'll actually give you the names of people in this class and that's not really fair to them. But um, that should give you an overview of how I set up the course. Uh, things to keep in mind are that anything major, obviously I'll put an announcement, I also will email you. So um, I've gotten these classes set up and ready um, pretty much completely through week six. Um, it was a pretty monumental task to convert everything over to online and do them well. Uh, my goal was not just to try and have uh, a regular class that I put on the internet, right? I wanted to actually use a lot of the knowledge I have about online and uh, digital pedagogy to really help it be a great class, not just any class, but a great class. So I only have through week six. So obviously at some point I will have more to add to the course calendar. And that's the kind of thing I would announce here in this section and I would email you. Um, as always, the best way to get a hold of me is to email me. I believe you can do that through here, maybe tools. No, I think if I go to class list, it would I, you could click on my name and it would enable you to do it. Again, I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to reveal who's in this class. Um, but also just going to your student email account and doing uh, rumzs at pfw.edu. Another small reminder is that I have um, an online um, phone that you can call or text uh, during really more like 10 to 4 every day if I'm honest, but um, like today it's only 9 o'clock and I'm already at work. So uh, between 9 and 5 roughly, um, the phone number is right here and uh, feel free to call and text. Um, I am online, I am available, and I'm here to help. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. That is it for now. I look forward to meeting you guys next week.